Hi everybody, I'm June. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back to my channel if you have been watching. I'm coming to you with a Shopmas A haul. So in my last video, I have had a flop with those mystery bags. I'm not going to go on and on about it, but and I watched other hauls and they received some really cool stuff. That's why I bought three of them, but they were three flops. But Shop Miss A is a dollar and up beauty website. They do have some really nice stuff. I'm not gonna lie, if you watch all my videos, it is all Shop Miss A stuff. They have jewelry, they have hair accessories, they have makeup, they have panties, socks, they have scarves, they have squishies. They have keychains, they have sunglasses, just a big variety of stuff. And if you spend $35 or more, it's free shipping. If you spend less than $35, it is $3.95 shipping and handling in the US of A. And I also had in a prior purchase received some makeup or purchased some makeup brushes. I didn't receive them, so I emailed Shop Miss A and they told me that they have two inspectors that do inspect the packages before they go out but i sent them a picture of my packing slip and reiterated that if i had received the brushes i wouldn't have been spending my time emailing them to tell them if i didn't get them because i'm not that type of person where i'm going to go out of my way to say i didn't get something if i did just to get a replacement or get more items so we'll see how that goes but I do have another purchase with them that should be coming and I love them from a scale from 1 to 10 I would give shop miss a a 9 they do have some good quality stuff this necklace right here that I'm wearing ooh, this Figaro necklace I got from shop miss a a dollar and it's pretty heavy. I mean, it feels really good. I like the way it looks. And then the two makeup items that I got is this AOA Perfect, what is it called? AOA Perfect Setting Powder, and this is in the banana shade. And it looks pretty yellow. And I have watched other hauls that people purchased this, so I don't know if it's translucent maybe an under eye setting powder with, and then maybe my regular powder over it. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then I did get the another lippy from the Wonder Metal collection and this is in the color Cosmo and it's this really pretty like dusty rose color. I know I don't have this one. There are a few other ones that I would like to get from the Wonder Matte Collection, but those are sold out. And then today, I just put on a little bit of makeup. I'm having really bad allergies, and so I was going to wear lashes, but my eyes, when I was putting on mascara, was they were just running too, too bad. And that's why I didn't put anything on my lash line, because uh, I was tearing up. But I did use the Wonder Brow Gel. Uh, I might have went a little heavy-handed on it. And it dried down pretty nice, like a nice matte uh, finish. And I usually use eyeshadow for my brows, but today I just used the Wonder Brow, and I think I think it looks all right. Just got to get used to it and applying it and seeing my little sugar skull mirror, seeing how to use it for my brows. I did get another mint 3D, 3D, <laughs> three chain necklace. I did get one in my other haul. They are different. I thought they were similar, but I did put them side to side, and the chains are definitely different. But look how pretty those are. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I don't know if they have them in other colors. I only wear silver, so obviously I got them in the silver. And then I got these cute pink barrettes, and I had thought I got them in the oval, but they obviously are not oval. And they're the snapback. Really cute pearl-esque type finish. 
really, really like these. And then I got these beautiful earrings. And they have this really cool, like, knot design. And then these are the back. And as I've stated, I do have gauges. But these type of earrings I can put underneath these type of silicone plugs. Or I do have another uh, second hole right here that I can always stick them into. But yeah, those are, those are really cute. And then I did get some more of these black headbands. But these are a little bit different. These were the ones that I got prior. And they have this like rubbery inside I guess to hold your hair back but I've been wanting chokers so I thought I would use these as chokers but these are kind of more like polyester-esque but I do have a pretty wide neck I usually have to wear a 20 inch or 24 inch chain and the Figaro necklace, the, it did have the extra links to make it bigger or smaller. But yeah, so I'm going to have black chokers for a while. But knowing my silly ass, I have a habit of losing my stuff or my cats get a hold of it and God knows where they put it. But yeah, so I'll be using these as chokers and then as head bands and then also as... Uh, bands to put my hair back but yeah you get six of them for a dollar and in that other package it was three for a dollar but I'm not mad at it and then I did get another one of the I don't know what you want to call this I don't know if I could figure out how to open it oh there we go it, it could be a head wrap you could wear around your neck and wear it as a mask you can wear it as a scarf. It does go up over your ears, so if your ears get cold. And now that we're going to be getting into the fall season, this army green, I just, I love this color. Absolutely love this color. I have a lot of clothing items that are this color, so I'm glad that it's solid, so it'll go a lot, go with a lot of different things. And then... I got this beautiful, I already opened it, I got this beautiful scarf, and this is L-O-F, which is lots, Love of Fashion, and it is this beautiful, beautiful scarf, and it's got this fray bottom, but it's this smoky black color on white with clocks and this I don't want to open it all the way it's it's going to be pretty big and for a dollar for a dollar I mean I can wear this as a shawl with a black shirt with a solid black shirt or a gray solid shirt I could wear it as a head wrap I could wear it as a scarf with its four and then I mean Sorry, for a dollar. That was pretty badass for a dollar. And then the last few things I got are I got a couple pair of socks, just in white. They're supposed to be the no show socks, and I do like to wear uh, low top sneakers, and so these will be good to wear in my sneakers. It's been way too hot, but I do wear them anyway trying to be cute and then now again like I said with the fall season coming up my boyfriend and I like to go to different types of cemeteries and there is a specific name for people who frequent cemeteries I go to see the history to see the beautiful tombstones to pay my respects to people and they're so peaceful you feel tranquil in a cemetery. It's just beautiful. And I know a lot of people, you know, think, oh, well, cemeteries are evil and death and no, no, no. Death is a part of life. You're born and you die. I mean, that's just how it is. 
but if you take the time to actually see the beauty of some of these tombstones and the crypts and the thought process of remembering your loved one. I mean, they are really, really beautiful. I always bless myself before I go in the cemetery. I always bless myself coming out of the cemetery. And here in Denver, I believe I have been to probably 90% of the public cemeteries that you're allowed to go in. And they're just, they're gorgeous. I feel peaceful. I don't feel like I'm in any threat of you know a spirit and we take our dog too and let her run around and you never know there might be some lost souls that love animals and kind of just sharing that life of you know a, a animal to somebody who maybe lost their animal or whatever and that's just that's just what I like to do uh, we also, I am also into Halloween, so we frequent a lot of uh, historical places that have hauntings. We have a few parks that have uh, history, and then I love going to different Halloween stores. So these next coming few months are going to be <laughs> my happy place because I do love to do stuff like that. And... I love shopping. I love to do a variety of different things. Just just going for a drive or, you know, who knows. That's just a few things that uh, about me that I want to share. And then this shirt today was inspired by my friend Monty's Life Feature and Beauty. She wore a beautiful shirt similar to this in one of her hauls. And I was like, oh... I have a shirt like that that I'm going to wear in my next video. So thank you, Monty. Totally had forgotten about this shirt, too, because it's been hanging up in my closet. I have a bunch of new clothes, but it's 90 freaking degrees outside, and I ain't trying to wear nothing but a tank top and some shorts. But today, I have the air going. I have my fan going, obviously, as you can tell. And it's nice and cool in here, so I thought I'd pop this on. But back to the haul. Sorry. That kind of side track. So the last few things I got are these Urban Salon Pro Paddle Brushes. Look how big that is. I mean, almost the size of my hand. And if you were to go to a beauty supply or beauty or Sally's Beauty, a brush like this would probably cost you twelve dollars. Sorry, my nose is running. This brush would probably cost you twelve dollars and a dollar at Shop Miss A. And then it has these beautiful, nice gripped handles. And my hair is about down to here, so this will be nice. And it says smooths and detangles. And this is from the band, the brand Kala. And I don't know if these brushes, which I know, I know, I go on and on about these brushes. These are Urban Studios, so I don't know if these are from Kala or if these are related. But I got this nice square paddle brush. And then I also got one in the oval shape. And I bet you if you went to Sally's, this brush too would probably be about $8. And it's a pretty good size too. And it also has that nice grip handle. But I hope you guys are having a good Saturday. Uh... I'm still going to give Shop Miss A a chance. I mean, I know you can't have the greatest experience with everything, you know. So, but 1 out of 10, I would give Shop Miss A a 9 for their quality of their stuff. They do have a good variety of things. I just had that one bad experience with those mystery bags, but everything else that I've received from them, thumbs up. And it, like I stated, if I did state it, if I didn't state it, I don't know. Every video I have on YouTube is a Shop Miss A haul. So, I, obviously, I like them or else I wouldn't be spending my money on that site. But I do have a cherry, Shop Cherry haul that should be coming. And then a small Shop Miss A in the future. But I hope you guys have a great Saturday and a great weekend. 
and we'll see you in the next haul. Peace, love, and harmony. Bye.